Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather next 10 to 14 days for today's second video. So day 10 will take us around the 8th of April. We'll be able to extend out beyond that with the GFS and ECM ensembles. They run to around a couple of weeks, having the CFS B2 at the end of video for the next uh, four weeks. And I shall get on that for you very shortly. Just say that the first video released today was the new feature that we have launched on the uh, channel. So 7am, there's going to be a short uh, forecast every day uh, up here runs around a couple of minutes, two, three minutes. Uh, just go through the weather over the next sort of two or three days. Very, very simple, uh, you know, basic weather forecast. And uh, and yeah, so that's going to be appearing every day at 7 a.m. I record it in the evening, then schedule it, and it gets released. Um, you know, uh, for breakfast, uh, for everybody to watch with their breakfast at uh, 7 a.m. in the morning. Just a nice little little uh, feature. So I hope everybody is enjoying uh, that that uh, that particular forecast that we've just started doing uh, on on the channel. You know, so an extra and additional uh, video. It's not a replacement of anything. Uh, we're going to have the Easter update for you uh, this evening. So I think we're up to number five now with the Easter update. Of course, only a few days away from Easter. And uh, we're going to cover it in this video, of course, as well, that whole period. But we'll have, we'll have like a detailed uh, forecast for the Easter period. And that will be released probably around 7, 8-ish uh, tonight, I would have thought. Now, we did a live stream uh, yesterday, of course, a lovely, lovely live stream. Hope everybody enjoyed it. Um, and I announced in the live stream that uh, on Friday, on Good Friday, actually talking of Easter, Good Friday at 10 past 10 in the evening, myself and Savvy will be uh, live streaming here on the uh, Gaz Weather's YouTube channel. Um, not going to be a weather stream, it's going to be like uh, me and Sav hanging out, having a chat, and you're all going to be invited as well. And we're just going to have a good time and, and have a bit of a laugh. And, and with this live stream, we're going to be raising money for the uh, work and Northamptonshire Air Ambulance. So uh, I did a fundraiser for the Air Ambulance like five years ago. We wanted to do something, uh, you know, for, for the Air Ambulance, but the opportunity never really uh, arisen. But but I thought, you know, Gavin Sapp would be uh, a perfect opportunity to try and raise a little bit of uh, money. So this is the Just Giving page uh, for the uh, Gavin Sapp charity uh, live stream. Uh, now, I've already got £130 uh, with this. So thank you so much uh, to everybody who's donated so far. It's only a few hours, it's only been launched a few hours ago. But I'm absolutely uh, amazed, you know, that already within a few hours we have reached £130. I set a target of £100 with this. So I wasn't sure, you know, uh, how much we would be able to raise uh, with this. So we we smashed it within like the first couple of hours um so it's just absolutely incredible absolutely amazing thank you so much everybody who has donated so far yeah uh, you will be able to to donate uh you know between now and friday uh, on the, the stream on Friday. So so if you would like to give a donation to the uh, Warwickshire and Northamptonshire Air Ambulance, it would be very greatly uh, appreciated. And, and thank you so much to each and every one of you for, for doing that. Uh, and, and of course, the, the, the main event for this is going to be on Friday night when we do the Gavin Sam uh, live stream. But you, you can donate like any time between now and Friday. And just a big thank you, to, you know, for, for being so, uh, so tremendously kind and generous to all of you. Absolutely unbelievable. Thank Thank you so much, everybody. See you, Matt. And we'll see you live on Friday night, hopefully. Right, let's get on uh, with the video then. We're going to start off by having a look at the latest observations from XC Weather. Well, we can see that uh, it's pretty warm out there, actually, at the moment. It's going to get warmer over the next couple of days, too. What's that just updated? Uh, right, so we've got 18 degrees, our maximum temperature flashing away over there in a boy. So I think there must be a little bit of phone effect going on uh, across Scotland. East of Scotland is the warmest place at the moment. Uh, 17 at Aberdeen and uh, 15 degrees at uh, in, in Uh It was also pretty warm down at Scampton, 16 degrees there in Lincolnshire. Humberside is at 17. Uh, degrees. Waddington is at 16 uh, degrees as well. Down into the Midlands, we've got uh, Church Lawford at 13 degrees. Not quite as warm there, but still very mild. Cambridge is at 14. Uh, Norwich is at 16. And Manston is at 15. In towards London, they've got Heathrow at 14 degrees. Over into Wales, Sandy Bridge only at 9. And at Capel Curry at 10. So it's not quite as mild out in the west. Northwick is at 14 down in the southwest of England. Carlisle at 13. Only to Northern Ireland got 14 at Belfast. It's pretty mild out there. It's going to get warmer as the day progresses. There'll be more and more sunshine breaking through uh, the clouds during the course of this afternoon 
And uh, tomorrow will be warmer still. And down in the south, the peak of temperatures might be on Wednesday uh, before things start cooling down into the second half of the week. But yeah, definitely a warm end to uh, March. March has turned into a milder than average month. This other CT is current look, currently looking. So the central temperature is standing at 6.8. So an anomaly of 1.2 degrees uh, above average. That's above 61 to 90 average, of course. That is provisional to uh, yesterday, the 28th of, uh, of March. I think it's going to finish up in the sevens. Probably finish up somewhere in the low sevens. So say somewhere from 7.0 to maybe uh, 7.3 something. Uh, like that. So it's going to be a, a milder than average month. GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles are looking like this. We're looking at London today. Red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for London. Of course, we're starting off significantly above average with the upper air temperatures at the moment. It is going to get warmer, if anything, uh, over the next couple of days. So, uh, yeah, really mild conditions. The temperatures start to drop in the second half of the week. Take a little bit longer now for the, for the cooler air to get in. So the first part of the East weekend is now showing up to be relatively mild, or maybe even quite warm, actually, on Easter Saturday. Easter Sunday looks like it's a key day, where the temperature suddenly drops. By turning it through to Easter Monday, and then on through the rest of next week, it looks like we go colder than average. So the cold weather is still there. It's just been delayed a little bit getting in, but this period here will be a little bit cooler compared to what's coming up, got coming up over the next two or three days. But still, Probably above average for, for Good Friday and for Easter Saturday. And then we get through to the second half of the East weekend and, and things change quite dramatically. Going to be a lot of dry weather around in the next week as well. Plenty of dry and fine conditions as it gets colder next week. So there is more in way of precipitation and there is a little bit of a risk of some snow in places as well too. Temperature anomaly, so 29th of March, 6th of April, going to be rather milder than average, a warmer than average week coming up. Precipitation anomalies from the 29th of March, 6th of April, going to be drier than average. Latest moonflow map from EarthNollSchool.net shows that winds are going to be coming up from the southwest uh, today, or are coming up from the southwest today. Almost going to shift round into the south, actually, and that's going to start bringing up even warmer air from southern climes as we go through uh, the next few days. Right, all important generic charts. This is how the uh, UK Met is shaping up for Thursday. High pressure will be just to our west northwest on Thursday, and around this high pressure, we'll be bringing in an easterly wind. That will be cooler compared to what we have coming up for Monday, Tuesday, and the South Wednesday, uh, but nevertheless, still probably quite pleasant on uh, Thursday, I would have thought. Friday, anti cyclonic, dry fine conditions. That Carries on into Saturday. Temperature probably quite warm, actually, again, by Easter Saturday. And then the high pressure begins to move. So by Easter Sunday, we're pulling the heights up to Greenland. We've got this travel low pressure plunging through the North uh, Norwegian Sea. And uh, we've got a cold front just here that will be attempting to introduce very cold air for time of year from the north. That's as far as we get to with the UK Met. It looks poised, doesn't it, to pull down winds from the north. Let's pick up the storyline with the GFS uh, midnight run. So again, there we are for Thursday, looking cooler on uh, Thursday, but still pleasant, I would have thought. Friday, again, mainly dry, fine conditions will be cooler than it is in, the, in this early part of the week, but nevertheless, still um, quite pleasant conditions. That carries on into Saturday as well. Sunday, Easter Sunday, this is a key day. The high pressure gains a scoop up towards Greenland. Again, we've got this trough of low pressure in Norway, you see, and a cold front that is attempting to introduce much colder air from the north. Notice central pressure of, uh, of the ridge, uh, of the block over green, going up to 1,080 millibars. Some model output at the moment is suggesting a chance of a record-breaking uh, area of high pressure setting up over Greenland, uh, record-breaking pressures. If it gets around 1,085 millibars, I think that would be uh, a record. So a very intense green and high possibly getting going over Easter. Up rare temperatures still looking relatively mild on uh, Easter Sunday across most parts of the country. But notice, minus 10 cells, ice firm is up there around uh, Iceland. Look what happens as we go on into Easter Monday. The high pressure again pulling out into North Atlantic, heading up to Greenland. Down comes that northerly blast. The air is coming from a very long way north, originating all the way from the Arctic and blasting down 
uh, across the west of Europe. That brings to minus 10 Celsius isotherm uh, with it. So minus 10 will be pushing through the country on Easter Monday. And so any showers that form within this northerly wind will probably be quite unstable northerly given the, the energy of in the atmosphere thanks to the strength of the sun uh, now combined with those colder prayer temperatures. So that will probably set up quite a lot of showers. And those showers are likely to fall of snow um, with the minus 10 Celsius isotherm pushing down uh, across the country on Easter Monday. Uh, uh, Tuesday, uh, we remain in that cold northerly wind. Of course, we can't sustain the minus 10 Celsius ice firm all that long at uh, this time of year. We are into April, so already by Tuesday, minus 10 is beginning to get restricted uh, to the northern half of the country. And by the time we get through to, uh, to Wednesday, uh, we're in a less cold air mass, but still chilly air mass by then. Winds are coming in from the northwest. Then the midnight, uh, and look at the upper air temperature, you should see the, the, the minus 10 quickly does recede away so we can't sustain that for like several days as we would in the middle of winter but uh, the uh, GFS midnight run then pulls in cold air again has another shot of cold air into the second week of April look at this it's Saturday 10th of April again next low is around Iceland and that also starts to dive southwards push southwards and turn wind back into the north again through the second week of April heights are still very high over Greenland uh, 1065 1070 millibars and so again in comes minus 10 once more minus 10 cells ice firm coming in once more to the northern half of the country anyway on the 12th of, of April um, uh, and we've also got a bit of a battle going on some low pressure involved with this northerly as well so it all looks really cold and unstable as we're moving into the middle part of April and there would be further possibilities uh, for snow with that as well could we be shaving up for a notably cold first half to April we might be these are precipitation type forecast based on that uh, GFS midnight run from the weather outlook so initially any rain is in the northwest of course most places will be dry over the uh, coming uh, few days into the Easter period, we're, we're high and dry. And after a warm start, temperatures will fall back close to average. Sunday, East Sunday is when we start to set up that northerly. So in come the snow showers into the northern half of the country. This is a cold front, I think, moving southwards across Northern Ireland and Scotland. And behind that, the air goes very cold for the time of year with showers turning readily to snow. Patchy rain coming southwards across England and Wales through Easter Sunday. Maybe a little bit of sleep mixed in. Uh, but it's behind that that the but the coldest of the air digs in, and so showers, any showers turns just turns to snow across Scotland and eastern parts of the country into Easter uh, Monday. And then Easter Monday itself looking really wintry, lots of snow showers packing into the north and to the east too. Not all that many going down to the south, but of course it's a long way off, and we know there is going to be instability with these uh, colder air temperatures combining with a strong uh, sun. So so the prospect is there, I think, some big snow showers uh, if this normally comes off with my 10 cells ice firm uh, on Easter Monday and into Tuesday, the uh, 6th of April. Beyond that, we keep it pretty cold, really, into the extended range with this GFS, really, because we're low res uh, now. I'm going to a drier period for a while, and then it begins to get colder uh, again with perhaps more in way of rain, sleet, and even some snow. Uh, returning a rather wintry outlook it has to be said from the GFS midnight run let's have a GFS six days looking that's just updated uh, so again very similar conditions high pressure again shooting up to Greenland on Easter Sunday so I had to pull in this cold northerly on uh, Easter Monday so there's the upper air temperature for the end of Easter Sunday again minus 10 so as I said pushing into Scotland and this northerly blast down across the country on Easter Monday minus 10 coming right way through most of the country anyway on Easter uh, Monday into Tuesday we keep it cold on Tuesday the 6th of April and we get up towards daytime. We're still looking pretty chilly even now really though the high pressure is a little bit further south so there's slightly more of an Atlantic feed of air, air coming in but, but still generally quite cool. Uh, and then another low pressure diving south was in the extended range again that possibly pulling something cold back in uh, from the north uh, once again. So it all looks pretty chilly, it all looks pretty wintry it has to be said. Uh, with model output, certainly with GFS model output at the moment. We finish up with this GFS 6 set on the 14th of April, maybe pulling up some milder winds from uh, the southwest. Uh, GEM looks like this, so uh, once more we're looking at a cool down for the second half this week, but there will be a lot of dry weather 
into the Easter weekend. And then the high pressure shoots up to Greenland. 1,080 millibar high pressure there over Greenland, getting very close to a record uh, by the time we get through to East Sunny Easter Monday. There's the cold front coming southwards on Easter Monday and introducing this very cold uh, northerly wind. And then we're going to uh, be on the East Pier. So this is, uh, this is Tuesday, 6th of April. Cold air established. And uh, it, it looks pretty wintry, this. Minus five cells ice melt plunging down uh, across all parts of the country. We finish up at day 10, trying to introduce some low pressure from the southwest. But it is bumping into quite cold air, so there may be wintry potential uh, in with that. ECM uh, looks like this. So, uh, again, mainly dry conditions into the first part of the Easter weekend. Uh, a, little bit, a little bit cooler compared to where it's going to be over the next couple of days, but still generally quite pleasant. ECM also takes that high pressure up to Greenland. Very consistent across all model output today. This high pressure to go up to Greenland on Easter Sunday and for a cold front start to dig in from the north. There's the upper air temperatures for Easter uh, uh, Sunday, but Easter Monday, it's midnight on Easter Monday, look at this, uh, northerly winds pushing down uh, across the country. Here comes that cold air coming down with those northerly winds as well. And then just looking cold and wintry into uh, next week with low pressure combined with northerly winds to possibly bring snow showers, uh, particularly to northern parts of the country. I'm sure the ECM pushes the minus 10 cells ice firm quite as far south as the GFS and the GM are doing. But nevertheless, they're all much of a muchness, really, looking cold and wintry uh, with most of the model output through the first week of April. Uh, this is last night's precipitation type forecast from the last night's ECM 12s. And I want to just show you this. It's very, very snowy, very unusual for, for April. So here we go. We're getting into Easter Sunday. And this is the cold front coming south across the country. Now, that's just the precipitation on that cold front is still. I'm not sure about that. Um, but <laughs> it did. You know, midnight ECM, uh, the midday ECM yesterday did produce a lot of snow uh, across uh, England and Wales. Uh, and carried on right up to day 10 as well. Look at this big snow event there for South Western Wales and the Midlands at uh, day 10. I don't think this is updated for the uh, midnight uh, ECM run, the later one that I just saw, unfortunately. So, so it hasn't. It hasn't. It's still showing yesterday's uh, 12s there. There is a delay, I think, on the ECM charts updating uh, at Temecho at the moment. Hopefully they'll get that resolved soon. Uh, right, these are the options I tell you from the ECM Ensembles today for day 10 gets us to the 8th of April. 18 members of the ECM Ensembles have low pressure to our west, high pressure to our south, southeast. Um, to look quite understand, I'm probably trying to turn things a bit milder there, pulling wind in from the southwest. Uh, 16 have a mid Atlantic ridge going up towards Greenland, blocking with low pressure over to the east of the country, winds in from the north uh, with those 16, so that's cold and wintry. Includes the control run. Uh, 10, again, high pressure out in the Atlantic, up towards Greenland. Low pressure to our east, down come those uh, cold northern winds. That's also a cold and wintry scenario. And then 7, including the operational run, uh, looking unsettled with low pressure just to our southwest. So probably starting to get a little bit less cold by that point. Um, but still generally, you know, still generally quite an, uh, quite, a, quite an unsettled scene. And still pretty chilly at the very least with winds coming in from like an easterly direction. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got today. This gets us to the 13th of April. Have 20 members of the ECM ensembles with low pressure to our west-northwest income. The west south is are going to be unsettled, reasonably mild with that. I suppose. 18, uh, again, high pressure this time centred just to our south southeast. That will draw up something milder from the southwest. So that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be spring-like, I would have thought. And 13 have high pressure to our west northwest. This is gonna be the coolest option with winds coming in from the northeast. We may see things getting milder by uh, by uh, the middle of April, but certainly uh, you know it's gonna be quite a bit of cold weather through through the first week of April anyway. Seven V2, uh, finally, uh, 500 mm of our height anomaly is looking like this. Week 1 takes from the 29th of March to the 4th of April. Uh, above average heights, high pressure to our west-northwest, and bringing in potentially something colder from a northwesterly or northerly direction. It could be mainly dry, but will be turning colder as we go along. Week uh, 2 is going to be the 5th to the 11th of April. Low pressure then just to our west. And unsettled, probably quite cold, at least at least initially anyway, 
because we are on the cold side of the jet stream with that. Week three uh, is going to take us from the 12th to the 18th of April. Above average heights then centred over the UK and West Europe. Should bring a lot of dry weather and temperatures will probably start to recover as winds begin to pull up from the south. And then week four, looking rather mysterious, this is the 19th to the 25th of April, hints of a Scandinavian high and uh, high pressure well away from us in the middle of the Atlantic. Otherwise, not much else to go on. Could this area here be filled up with a trough of low pressure and a northwest southeast line of a jet stream, I wonder, possibly, but there's not really enough to go on uh, one way or another for that. I don't think we need to look any further than the Easter period, which could be notably cold and wintry eventually by Easter Monday. So we'll be keeping you updated about that, uh, of course, over the next few uh, days and next few updates. If you enjoyed this video, please can you smash the like button. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. You'll be able to see future weather content. If you do that, tell friends, family, everybody else to subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody. And uh, drop a comment. Let us know uh, what you think about this and all of our videos. We're around 11 uh, subscribers away now from 10.8k, 10,800 subscribers. So we're getting very close now to 10.8k. Hopefully we'll be able to get 10.8k uh, quite shortly. And then of course the ultimate target is gonna be 11k, but it takes a little bit longer to get to 11,000 subscribers. Thank you so much everybody for all of the support. And yeah, check out the uh, the uh, Just Giving page uh, for uh, the fundraiser that uh, me and Sally are doing for the Warwickshire and Northamptonshire Air Ambulance. The link is in the description uh, with the video. So have a look at the page. And if you can afford to, then please uh, give a donation. We'll be back later on with the fifth, I think it's not update number five, uh, the fifth update for Easter. That will be coming up for you this evening. So this video, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.